amazing musical endeavor to take up is the blues. It's, it's, you know, for a music that seems so simple in form, almost too simple for people to comprehend sometimes, you know, like one guy just with one chord, like John Lee Hooker or something, you know, he just bang away on one chord, you know. And uh, that alone can make it seem like it's really simple, but it's pretty deep, it's pretty hard to play, I think. I think it's hard to play well. It just puts it where it's at, you know, it's healing, it's, it, it talks about it, it's not afraid to look at the dark side, but it doesn't dwell on the dark side, you know. B.B. King is a master, you know. I consider a blues master as somebody that can put it all into one note. That's what I consider the absolute ideal. About half the show I'll be wearing a thumb pick, which, which will give me the sound of a pick but I'll also be using my, these fingers as well. I just found out when, when you don't use a pick, you can get a more varieties of tones, right? Like... I just found you can be more personal with your tone, make it more like your own voice, because your fingers are sort of a unique part of you, per se. Flamenco is a style of guitar that, that doesn't, they don't use picks either, they just use their fingers, right, and their fingernails. So, um, one thing I learned was a rejeo, it's called rejeo, and it just, you know. And it's just a, like a little flip you do with your hand, you know. Up with your thumb, down with your two fingers, down with your thumb. So it goes like this. So sometimes when I'm playing, I'll be playing like a rhythm like this, you know. And it just gives a percussive sort of individual sort of style, you know. The country blues guys were their own one-man bands and, and they, they, they did a lot of um, lead rhythm and they'd also maybe do like a a chunky kind of rhythm that, that I get into too, something like, you know. Sort of like a train thing, you know, I do a lot of those kind of things, like. A lot of the greatest, you know, well-known Texas guitar players adopted their styles from horns like Gatemouth Brown and T-Bone Walker. Um, and that was that added a really interesting element to the way they played because they, they would play like horn lines on a on a jump tune or something, you know. You know, and, and play off the horns, you know. But Texas blues was also, you know, more the country blues style was more like Leighton and Hopkins, which was real, you know, real as low down as it got, you know. I think, you know, some of the best stuff you can learn for guitar is, is the Robert, Robert Jr. Lockwood and Louis Myers stuff, you know, that, and they backed up Little Walter for Chess Records, and I mean, some of that is some of the greatest, you know, if you just want to learn basic blues, that is the best stuff to go to, because it teaches you how to play the rhythm and the lead, so there's two guitar players then working together, you know, one on top, one on bottom, and they switch back and forth, right, because one would be doing like, you know... Be going, you know. I think if you know how to play the blues, you can go anywhere musically you ever want to go. If you want to go to folk or jazz or anywhere, because you've learned how to access that real basic feeling and emotion. And uh, you can't necessarily go from every other form and know how to play blues. Yeah.